we welcome you to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for today's game. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the how good the quarterback is and aren't they special. Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. Takes his spot in the backfield. The Steelers from the 27. Malik Jackson chases him down. Man, this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. looking short he is one of the smoothest most effective running backs in the NFL Le'Veon Bell who said the Big Ten can't turn out great running backs I used to hear that statement where well, you could take that statement and throw it in the trash because Le'Veon Bell is an outstanding running back in the NFL got to give the secondary credit in this passing league now it's hard to make plays but a good play there in another incomplete pass all set to punt here. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. I think these linebackers are moving around because they're going to try to blitz the quarterback. Finds his mark. Fowler's met at the 44. This is a route that's not running up in the NFL, the corner route. So many times, receivers just go across the field, they go short. But when you make these double moves like that, you get wide open, and what a throw by the quarterback. First down at the 44. They break through, tackle him behind the line. Steelers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The Broncos take it from the 43. Going for the deep ball, and they can't connect. Here's a look at the offense, and watch out today for Demarius Thomas, who is tremendous after the catch. Well, we have this phrase that we say, and we mean it adoringly. Demarius Thomas is a beast, absolutely on the outside. He can run by you, he can run around you, he can fake you out. He just has everything you want in a wide receiver. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is they, What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. Anderson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. Manning comes out in the pistol. Midway through the first to Daniels. Gains five. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big, and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance. They get it done. Second down, four to go. Anderson's taking it on the screen. And here's a look at the defensive unit that'll be looking to halt this offense today. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Steelers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Pause to the outside. 
picks up about two. Third and short, I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. He's got the catch. Denver, touchdown. As we get near the end of the opening quarter, they've grabbed the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice thing to do to score that touchdown and get a lead here late in the first. The Broncos ready to kick it away. Ray's there to take him down run back of about 17. The Steelers offense is on the field hoping to erase the memory of their last drive which was completely unproductive a quick three and out. Yeah it was. Yeah, I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players and they're pretty excited so this is going to be tough on the offense. Looking at the defensive lineups Vaughn Miller is a man to watch in this one. Vaughn Miller Maybe the fastest first step of the NFL. That makes him a threat when it comes to rushing the quarterback. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. And they get the sack. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, they don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming. Your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. Intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown. Boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really... 